Scientists at NASA just discovered the largest black hole in the universe. Many individuals are terrified of black holes. According to folklore, black holes are huge bottomless pits out there in deep space that are unseen but devour everything that comes near them. However, black holes are among the most enigmatic things in the universe. What is the reality of black holes? What are black holes? They are among of the most odd and fascinating objects in space. Black holes are so dense and have such a powerful gravitational attraction that nothing, not even light, can escape their clutches. If you look closely, Albert Einstein predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. It wasn't, however, until 1967. The phrase black hole was invented by American astronomer John Wheeler. It is known as confirmation of black holes, and the first one was discovered in 1971. The event Horizon Telescope Collaboration, the EHT, captured the first image of a black hole in 2019. As a result, the black hole at the heart of galaxy M87. There are three sorts of blood while the telescope was analyzing the event horizon, or the point past which nothing can escape from a black hole, the image maps, the abrupt loss of photons or particles of light. Astronomers have discovered new black holes. The first of these is stellar black holes. These black holes created by the collapse of individual stars are very tiny but extremely dense. Stellar black holes can pack more than three times the mass of the Sun into the diameter of a city, resulting in an insane amount of gravitational force pulling on objects around the object. Stellar black holes then consume the dust and gas from their surrounding galaxies, which keeps them growing in size. There are up to 100 million stellar black holes in the Milky Way galaxy. These colossal black holes are millions or even billions of times as big as the Sun, yet around the same size in diameter. They are assumed to be at the heart of almost every galaxy, including the Milky Way. However, supermassive black holes outnumber stellar black holes. Scientists are unsure. How do such massive black holes form? However, once these giants have formed, they gather mess from the dust and gas around them material that is plentiful in the center of galaxies, allowing them to grow to even more enormous sizes. The third type of black hole is the intermediate black hole, which recent research only revealed search bodies could form when stars in a cluster collide in a chain reaction. However, several of these intermediate black holes, existing in the same region, could then eventually fall together in the center of a galaxy and create a supermassive black hole. Black holes, have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon, the singularity, the event horizon of a black hole is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole past, which light cannot escape once a particle crosses the event horizon. It cannot leave. Gravity is constant across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole. One of the scariest places one can ever be. The location of the item mass is known as its singularity. You can't see black holes in this single spot in spacetime where the mass of the black hole is concentrated, where you can see stars and other objects in space. As a result, astronomers identify them by detecting radiations emitted by black holes. These radiations are produced as dust and gas are dragged towards the black holes to determine which is the best black hole to fall into. Is it the small or the large one? Surprisingly, he would most likely for a longer period of time, if you fell into a super gigantic hole, than a small stellar black hole. This is due to the fact that tidal forces are weaker at the event horizon. They are closer to the point of no return of a supermassive entire than they are to a lesser hole. This means that an unfortunate astronaut may be able to survive until they reach beyond the event horizon. A little monster, on the other hand, would shred them up considerably faster. Anything that falls into a black hole suffers from a condition known as spaghettification. They are stretched out into a long, thin shape that resembles a piece of spaghetti. This brings us to the list of the biggest black holes ever spotted in the observable universe. Get ready to deal with hard of have them sizes and scales. The first on our list is the S5, 14 plus 81. One of the most powerful things in the known universe. This colossal beast is a distant quasar summer. 12.1 billion light years away, quasars are produced by supermassive black holes consuming. Quasars consume meta the material it is feeding on as it spins inwards towards the central black hole as this material gets closer to the singularity it spins faster and faster causing significant friction and thus heat eventually the heat is so extreme that it gives off massive amounts of light and other forms of radiation such as X-rays light invisible, part of the spectrum and of radio waves, gamma rays. Quasars are so bright and they emit so much energy are almost beyond comprehension s. 5u14. Plus 81 happens to be one of the most powerful quasars that we've ever discovered. 
The black hole at the center of this quasar is 10 times more massive than the black hole in the center of our Milky Way. Galaxy The Schwarzschild radius of this black hole is 118 billion kilometers. Number 3 is the black hole, okay? It in the largest known galaxies. The IC 1101 was discovered by German-born, British astronomer William Herschel on June 19. 1790 over Herschel did not know what he was observing. At the time galaxies were still believed to be nebulae in the Milky Way, their true nature was not proven until the 1920s. When Edwin Hubble measured the distance, the Andromeda galaxy using AC field variable IC 1101 is the brightest member of the Able 2029 cluster of Alexes, the cluster has a diameter of 5.8,2,8 million light years and is one of the densest clusters in the sky. As the brightest member IC 1101 is the designation, a 2029 BCG with BCG standing for brightest cluster galaxies. However, the IC 1101 is known to contain dying stars with very little star forming activity, taking place, but that does not stop it. From possessing one of the world's largest black holes, PKS, 1508 plus 059, a radio source in the center of this huge galaxy, produces two jets in opposite directions. The presence of the two jets indicates the presence of a supermassive black hole at the center of the enormous galaxy. The black hole at the heart of IC 1101 has an estimated mass of 40 to 100 billion solar masses. This black hole grew in size by ejecting billions of stars from their orbits. Astronomers believe that there are around 490 billion stars in the universe. Solar masses. A missing from the core of the IC 1101. The second biggest supermassive black hole in the universe is the Hornberg 15, a black hole Hornberg 15. A is a supergiant elliptical galaxy located in the center of a group of over 500 galaxies called Abel 85 located. About 716 million light years away, the black hole was discovered by a team of astronomers. Is the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics and University Observatory Munich. So, how big is the Humbug black hole? This massive black hole is the equivalent of 40 billion solar masses, or nearly 2% of the entire galaxy's debris. This black hole was most likely created by a sequence of galactic mergers. The prevailing theory, which is backed by several hydrodynamic simulations, predicts that when two galaxies merge, their central, supermassive black holes, or SMBHs for short, sink steadily towards the center of the new galaxy formed by the merger. Mutual gravity draws the two mile per hour together. As a result, formation. The orbit of a binary system was initially quite broad, but rapidly narrowed as a result of energy exchanges with the myriad of stars that populate, the core of the new galaxy. The dynamics of these gravitational interactions between stars and black holes are such that at each encounter the two SMB. As a result, he cedes a portion of their orbital energy to the stars that pass in their neighborhood. The orbits of the two black holes rapidly tighten as the grazing begins to be pumped at great speed outside. The galactic center is primarily in radial orbit. Thus, over millions of years, the galaxy's core steadily depletes of stars, explaining the luminosity deficit observed in Homburg 15A and other elliptical galaxies. The title of largest ever awarded. The black hole travels to Tun 618. It is a hyperluminous quasar 10.37 billion light years away from Earth. It is home to the world's largest black hole, weighing 66 billion times the mass of the Sun. The weight of our Sun. It was detected for the first time in 1957 when surveying Feeble. A more extensive radio study undertaken in 1970 found tons of blue stars that do not lie on the Milky Way plane. Is a ton of quasar. 618 is thought to be an accretion disk of incredibly hot plasma spinning around the huge black hole at the center of the galaxy. It shines so brightly that it dwarfs the rest of the galaxy. It is one of the brightest things in the cosmos, with a luminosity of 4 by 10 to 40 watts which is equivalent to 140 billion times the brightness of the sun. The emission lines in the ton spectrum the number 618 indicates that the gas is moving quite quickly. The speed of falling materials is 7,000 km per second, indicating an extremely strong gravitational pull. It is from this measure that the mass of the central black hole of ton 618 is estimated to be at least 66 billion solar masses. This is considered one of the highest mass has ever recorded for such an object higher than the mass of all stars in the Milky Way. Galaxy combined or 15,300 times more massive than Sagittarius. A star the Milky Way's central black hole. In fact with such a high mass, 
Tunt 618 may fall into a proposed in new classification of ultramassive black holes. Black holes in this category have a Schwarzschild radius of 1,300 astronomical units or about 390 billion kilometers in diameter, which is more than 40 times the distance from Neptune last planet in the solar system to the Sun. Let's hear what you think of black holes in the comments section below. Whoa!